Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Mongoose firmware to control ESP8266 through AWS IoT. In the previous video I explained how to set up Mongoose Toolkit. Now what we're going to need is the uh, ESP8266 device. I'm using Node MCU with LCD screen connected to it. An LCD screen is an I2C device, MCC. Um, here it is. Then we clone Mongoose IoT GitHub repository and go to the FW examples CMQTT directory. The source code is in src main.c. So what it does, it registers MQTT event handler, uh, which expects JSON formatted commands on MQTT topic. So it accepts three types of commands. First is GPIO command. It can set any pin to, uh, to the specific state. The second type of command is a button command. If the certain button is pressed, the firmware should send a, an MQTT message to specify topic. And the third type is the command uh, so the firmware can send an arbitrary uh, binary stream to the I2C. We're going, we're going to use it to, to send a message to the LCD display. So let's build it. MIOT build architecture ESP8266. So it's built now and let's flash it. MIOT flash. Okay, it's flashed. Now let's configure it. MIOT AWS IoT setup. For that command to work, you first need the AWS command line utility. So download it from AWS and configure it. All right, so the first thing you need is to go to the AWS console and create a policy for your devices. So I have a device one policy. It's fairly permissive. So I'm going to use it. So repeat the command with AWS IoT policy, device one policy. So this command, it provisions the device onto the AWS IoT cloud. So it generates and uploads the certificates and copies the certificates to the device. So now uh, it's there. Now let's configure the Wi-Fi. MIOT config set Wi-Fi AP enable equals false. We disable access, access point mode. Wi-Fi station enable equals true and we specify Wi-Fi network SSID equals to Santa and Wi-Fi station password embedded communication okay and the other two things is MQTT topics so this device expects Commands from certain topics, and it replies with the uh, with the it replies to another MQTT topic. So let's set these topics. MIOT config set MQTT sub equals AA. This is a subscription topic. Pub equals BB. So this is the topic where the device will publish to. Okay, and run console. So now we can see that we joined Wi-Fi network and we're trying to connect to AWS. Okay, connected to MQTT broker and subscribe to AA topic. Now, switch to the AWS console, go to MQTT client and connect a client and subscribe to topic BB to see the device replies. And now let's publish to topic AA. So let's publish some junk first. 
let's make sure that the device receives it. So it says unknown command. So now let's publish some commands. Starts with GPIO and pin two. So pin number two is a built-in blue LED on this node MCU. In state zero, it's inverted. So state zero will turn it on. Uh, also, as far as I remember, there's uh, a red LED on pin number 16. It's also inverted. So we have these two pins switched on. Let's switch off the blue pin. Okay, it's switched off. Now let's try the uh, I2C. So with I2C write and specify the byte sequence data. So this LCD display expects a certain byte sequence to initialize it and to send a, a message to show. And I have this sequence written for myself. So this byte sequence initializes it. And the next byte sequence prints some, prints some message. So here it's not really uh, visible well, but you can see that the, the display displays a, a message. And now the, uh, the last one is the button. So we specify which pin the button is connected, on, uh, connected to. So pin number zero is the flash button on this node MCU. And uh, so we send the, this command and now if we press this button, the device will send a, a notification, a click notification to this pop sub channel. So let's try it on. So we can see there are click, click messages. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video.